Nightmare Neighbours across Britain on ITV2 hear Paradise at the Pyramids in a new series of Wish You Were Here. Karasi? Karasi, beautiful ladies? Karasi? It's OK. We got asked from the post office. Muy bien. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Por qué lo hiciste o cambiaste? Yo lo cambio en post office. Muy bien, post office. <laughs> Sponsors of Wish You Were Here. and welcome to a brand new series of Wish You Were Here. Each week we'll be taking a look at what the brochures have to offer and we'll be bringing you bang up to date with all the latest holiday news. So whether you're planning a trip of a lifetime, your regular two week summer break in the sun, or you just want to banish the winter gloom from your living room, travel with us on Wish You Were Here. I'm in the Maldives as near to paradise as you'll get, but there is a catch. Gail Porter's escaping from the crowds in Catalonia, but how will that change when Hollywood gets hold of the island? A new look at the much-loved Costa Brava. Judith Chalmers heads to La Franque. And Chris and Ingrid Tarrant take a look at some Egyptian antiquities. They look at me like Richard and Judy. <laughs> no, they do. So travel with us on Wish You Were Here. I've got blue skies, my own stretch of white, white beach, and temperatures constantly in the 80s. The Maldives really are the stuff of holiday dreams. Well, paradise they may be, but some of the day-to-day -day prices can bring you down to earth. It takes uh, a fair old effort to get here. There's a 13-hour flight from London, a few hours waiting around, and then a transfer by seaplane. So by the time you arrive, you really want, in fact, you expect to be impressed. And I think anyone would be. The resort is beautiful, but understated. Buildings are tucked away into the greenery, and the 62 rooms, or villas, are scattered just a few steps in from the water's edge. I suppose you could describe the style here as a sort of eco-luxury. Everything's incredibly stylish and comfortable, but it's simply done too, mostly using local materials. But everything is beautiful. I mean, look at that. You end up feeling like a sort of pampered Robinson Crusoe. And with 240 staff looking after 120 guests, pampered is certainly the word. But this is my favourite bit. Come and have a look at the bathroom. The shower is actually outside, a touch of luxury in a really natural setting. And if you don't mind spending a thousand US dollars a night, you could stay in the exclusive Room 61, like previous visitors Paul McCartney and Gianluca Vialli. And you get to enjoy the only swimming pool on the island as well. This is a place where time really doesn't matter. No news, no shoes, it means it's perfect for escapists. A walk around the whole island will take you all of 40 minutes. Not that you're going to be clock watching, of course. This holiday is all about peace and tranquility, but it's not a place to come on your own. There aren't many opportunities to make friends, and in fact, about the only time you'll see anyone else is at lunch. Even honeymooners have to eat sometimes, I suppose. Now, I think it's fair to say that resorts in the Maldives aren't normally renowned for their fine food. But, you know, I think the cooking here is outstanding. There's lots of choice. Everything is beautifully prepared and presented. But, of course, you do have to pay for that quality. Buffet lunch is $27 per person plus service. And once you include drinks, which aren't cheap, well, that can really add up. Dinners even more, at least $100 for two. But the standard never falters. If you're feeling you've overdone it, then a bike ride should help to ease the guilt. The bike comes as part of the package, by the way. And a trip across the island to the spa, only 400 metres away, is a calm retreat from the sun. There's a whole range of therapeutic treatments, and it'll cost you around £28 for a 30-minute massage. Well, you can't ignore it forever. Sooner or later, you just have to get in. And 
even if you don't like diving, you can still have fun. Because the snorkeling is wonderful. Two years ago, the sea here heated up by around two degrees because of El Nino. This was enough to destroy some of the coral. It's now beginning to grow back, but in the meantime, there's still plenty of life to see, even in the shallow water. The staff here really do go out of their way to indulge your every whim. For example, if you don't fancy eating in the dining room, they'll set up a table by the water's edge. And if even that's not remote enough for you, how about this? Your very own dinner cooked especially for you on your own private island. Thank you very much. You're welcome, man. Well, now let's take a look at the fact file. Meals are not included in this holiday, so you will need to budget for them in advance. Breakfast costs between 12 and 16 pounds, and there's a set dinner menu for 34 pounds 50. Wine is extra. That sunset barbecue on the sandbar will set you back 86 pounds, although it does include some drinks. Now.